The top level of this drawing management system is the Projects tab. This is where the Project Manager or CAD Manager defines the parameters of a project. It's divided up into three sections. The current project, levels, and divisions. There can only be one project active in the Navigator, and the current project section is where the information about the active project is maintained. This data can be used to populate information in title blocks and on cover sheets, as well as many other preferences and settings within the project. Notice on this tab that there are both basic and advanced settings that also control key items such as using relative pathing for reference files, which templates are used to create constructs, elements, and views, and advanced details on project standards, keynotes, details, and palettes. Project Navigator becomes really helpful when designing multi-story, multi-divisional buildings. These structures are broken up into two parts, levels and divisions. Levels are where the vertical building parameters are defined. The elevation of the top of each floor is defined in terms of floor-to-floor -floor height. This might include mezzanines, basements, grade, or other types of elevations. Levels share a common XYZ coordinate within each drawing, which is most commonly 0, 0, 0. Typically, each floor level is defined by a single drawing but you can also have some elements spanning across multiple levels. Divisions are where horizontal building parameters are defined. Divisions are only necessary if a floor plan needs to be divided into multiple sheets or several buildings in a single complex. For example, a building larger than 44,000 square feet on any one level may not fit on a 30 by 42 sheet at 1 8 inch scale. So we break the building up into divisions, such as an east wing and a west wing, annexes, branches, units, or even building additions. As with levels, divisions are located in their true XYZ coordinates in relationship with a common coordinate, 0, 0, 0, within each drawing. Here's a quick example. Start by creating three levels in this project. Select the Edit Levels icon. When the dialog opens, Choose the Add Level tool to make additional levels for the building. Adjust the elevation of the floor and note how the floor-to-floor -floor height settings force that level to move up or down as changes are made. Once the project settings are reviewed and defined, you're ready to start adding constructs, elements, views, and sheets.